Hello and welcome to the UMA Spotlight for the TradeFight DeFi Hackathon. This short presentation will take you through how to get started with UMA and a big shout out to the Harmony One team for having us this year. A very quick overview of what UMA does is that we build financial contract templates that is secured by our optimistic oracle. We'll run through some more details on how these work specifically together. UMA's financial contract templates uh, are a combination of a range token, a success token, KPI options, and an optimistic oracle. We'll run through at a very high level what each of these token types do and what, what you can build on top of them as a follow-on project. The range token is a treasury diversification tool that allows a DAO to borrow against their balance sheet in their native token and raise other types of assets such as stable coins or other project tokens. The benefit of the range token is a way to enable teams to borrow against their current balance sheet without the risk of liquidation. The success token, a slight differentiator from the range token, is more of a equity type token issuance where you sell your project tokens now plus an embedded call option uh, with, uh, to incentivize uh, investors to buy their tokens at no discount today with the call option being the free version of um, a call option which takes away the uh, discount need. The success token is also a vested contract which aligns with reducing the amount of sell pressure that uh, the token will have at any given point in time. The range token and success tokens uh, are two different types of, of treasury diversification tools that can be used today by any teams. The range token and success tokens have slightly different payouts. Here's a quick payout function graph for any of the financial engineers to look at. Uh, more details of this can be shared and more parameters around how to set up a range token and success token can be asked on, uh, can be looked at, at, at on UMA's website um, or through uh, one of the sessions that we have following this. Key performance indicator options a, are a synthetic token that will pay out rewards based if a certain metric is met or not. This can be employed by a DAO to lock up collateral, create key performance indicator tokens or KPI option tokens, and hand those tokens out to the members of their community. For example, if you are a liquidity pool and you want to incentivize liquidity pool mining, instead of paying out native rewards, you can pay out KPI option indicators that will pay out more rewards if liquidity stays in the pool for a longer period of time. This both aligns the DAO's need for, or the pool's need for more liquidity, as well as the miners need for uh, extra rewards. So staying in the pool longer generates extra rewards. The other benefit is that if the target does not get met, the DAO can claim any unclaimed rewards for that specific KPI. For example, if you only achieved 80% of your targeted liquidity, that means you'll only pay for 80% of the liquidity that you've got. This is a much more efficient way to give out rewards and can be applied on a broad scale spectrum from liquidity pools to uh, reward mechanisms to um, airdrops and to new token issuance. The flexibility around the key performance indicator is extremely large. UMA's Optimistic Oracle is our allows contracts to quickly uh, request and receive a price. Uh, the Oracle acts as an escalation game uh, where if someone proposes a price and it is not disputed, it is considered settled while also allowing prices to be disputed. Think of a time when a liquidation happened on any particular instance and, real, and you'd realize that there was no dispute mechanism for any of those contracts to go through. This is not an ideal situation and UMA's optimistic oracle solves this by allowing a proposer and a disputer to act in tandem and keep each other in check. And the, it is always incentivized for the right price to be the end outcome. If you'd like to know more, well, this is a quick overview. Um, if you'd like to know more, visit umaproject.org to learn some more. Uh, you can join us on our Discord and ask a bunch of questions or you can uma hello you can email Uma at hello 
um, at umaproject.org.